Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to build a simple iOS app which use Elatus runtime. Uh, all the source code are available in on GitHub and you can find it here. And you can also fo follow the instruction to download the source code. Uh, don't forget to uh, download some modules. So to build for iOS, you should follow the instruction here. So and uh, install some uh, dependent apps. And let's enter our building environment. So we can choose a simulator here and use image to build our source. Because I already built a source, so it's very fast here. If you are the first time to build source, uh, it will take some time. So the demo app is in this location. So you, you can, uh, as you see, there is a car file here. Um, car stands for component assembly runtime. So it's the, it's the metadata of this uh, car component. And uh, we will talk about uh, this later. So to demonstrate the build process, I, I would like to uh, clean the, the, build, uh, the, the, the build result of this app and uh, rebuild, rebuild it. So all of the target will uh, generate uh, into a mirror directory. So the, you can you can use the pdm command to enter the corresponding mirror directory. So this is the mirror directory corresponding to uh, Hello Car Demo. So you can find the, the result here, the, some build object here and and uh, for the car file it will generate a uh, CLS file uh, which is the binary format of the car file and it will also generate some C++ code or and uh, uh, header file so this file are generated from the metadata from the car file. So, and we will talk about the uh, car later. So, here we have an Xcode project. So, we, after eMake, we generate an Xcode project here. You can open it. Uh, it will open the Xcode for you. So, so here is the uh, Hello Car Demo source code, and uh, we could build it, build and run this app. And let's set a uh, breakpoint here and try to run it. So we will break here. Let's step into the source code. So 
you can find uh, we we call into a C++ file uh, and it return a Elatus string and then we will then show the uh, greeting string into the UI so today I would like to talk more about the, the car car file so, so here is the car file for for the this demo app uh, it's an it's an interface description language so it describes the component uh, it has uh, one interface and this interface has one master and uh, an output parameter so with this metadata uh, Elato's runtime can do many things on top of it you, uh, you can find some uh, instruction uh, introduction here um, so for example uh, we, we have the car file compiled into CLS file and uh, we have this metadata uh, a lot of runtime can can generate the, some binder code uh, automatically so it's uh, you can also uh, you can also call call the car object from a different programming language like Java or JavaScript. So uh, Elatus runtime can uh, generate the binding code uh, automatically. You you don't need to write your own JNI code in order to call uh, from Java call and see, see perhaps as plus method from Java so Elatos will do uh, Elatos runtime will do it for you and also uh, you, you can even call a remote object from a different machine and uh, Elatos runtime can can pack the parameter and send send the parameters through socket and then run uh, call the master and uh, return the result uh, from uh, return the result to, uh, to you so this all all done at, uh, automatically that's because we have metadata So you you don't even need to know how to how to use the socket API. So that's Elatus and the car component. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you.